actually my entire adult life I have struggled, really struggled with insomnia. Trouble falling asleep, and if I could fall asleep, I couldn't stay asleep. It was such a relief to wake up and having, have, after having slept seven or eight hours, never happened for me before. You've heard me say so many times that sleep is actually essential. Good sleep, where we stay well sleeping through the night, affects all of our health. Today I've got my friend Lisa here. Lisa actually is going to tell us a story of her sleep issues and how they were really helped with this product, this RestWell product. Lisa, tell us your sleep story. Well, actually my entire adult life I have struggled, really struggled with insomnia. Trouble falling asleep, and if I could fall asleep, I couldn't stay asleep. And I Your tried entire adult life. My entire adult life. And I tried everything, melatonin, valerian, kava, all, homeopathy, all kinds of things. Okay. No help. And then I kind of gave up. I sort of just thought I'm going to be sleep deprived <laughs> chronically. And a couple months ago, my son, um, who was studying for the bar exam, he was having really bad insomnia. And I found out about the rest well and sent it to him. And a week later, he called me and said, oh my God, this is like the best I've ever slept. So wow, nice. that got me to try it. And I had the same experience. It was such a relief to wake up and having, have, after having slept seven or eight hours, never happened for me before. Wow, that's an amazing story. And wonderful thing that your son also saw the benefit. You know, sleep is a complex issue, but you can see with, in every case might be a little different, but these are two wonderful cases where this Sleep, this, this rest well, this tryptophan, very high quality, very pure tryptophan, really got you producing that melatonin, got you sleeping well. I, I'm really pleased. In addition to sleeping well with the rest well product, you found that your, how do you say, your cravings? Well, I could tell that during, in the morning, I would just be exhausted and felt like I was had this appetite. And I think it's just because I was eating, trying to give myself energy. Right, right. And didn't even really know that, I looked back and realized I wasn't doing that anymore and lost eight pounds in about six weeks and I can't really attribute it to anything else. Wow, isn't that interesting? You know, and the new research is clearly showing if we don't sleep well, we can tend to gain weight much more easily and we get into those cravings. How about your mood? Like, did you notice any difference in mood? Definitely better mood, mostly just from having more energy to get things done and not feeling like I was dragging around during the day. Exactly. And did you find yourself going to bed any earlier? I mean... Absolutely. Yeah, because I remember, Lisa, like a little late night. Oh, I'd be midnight, 2 o'clock in the morning, and then realize I was starting to get tired at 10 or 11 and actually want to go to bed. So how do you do it now? What time do you... My little trick is I take it, make sure that I take the rest well 20 minutes or half an hour before I'm actually going to turn out the light. Because if I take it too early and I'm still up to have doing activities, right. I feel like I can, um, you know, overpower that. Exactly, exactly. In fact, I heard, I heard a researcher today, Perlmutter, this famous neurologist, say we should turn off the computers, everything after dinner and not get involved right. in that. Because you get a, what they call an evil second wind. <laughs> and you can overrun the effect uh -huh. of the tryptophan. I know I've spent my, much of my life looking for solutions to waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, and uh, it changes your whole life. It's nice because I thought maybe it would help me fall asleep, but I would still do the waking up in the middle of the night thing, but it, um, yeah. that went away too. So you fell asleep more easily and you stayed asleep. Uh -huh. The other thing that I thought maybe was worth mentioning is that it's definitely the rest well, but this is the first time in my life that I've been really good about taking magnesium, taking right. the alkalizing minerals, pretty much started that um, around the same time. And mm -hmm. so I think that maybe that is part of the connection too. But You know, and we always, we recommend to many of our people and ourselves, my whole staff, we take magnesium right with that rest well at night because magnesium relaxes the body. It's such an important uh, mineral, of, it affects 600 different enzyme systems. So the magnesium with the rest well, great idea. Great idea. And if you're the type of person that say, I get a loose stool with magnesium, then know that our mentor, Dr. Jaffe, has discovered a way that you can correct that problem. It's a block to magnesium uptake. You take choline citrate with the magnesium 
and then you don't get loose stool. The Alkaloom for Life, we're really committed to resolving the sleep problem, so we can take inspiration from Lisa. If you're, you try this protocol, try the magnesium, try the rest well, be sure to try to you know, avoid caffeine, all those stimulants, do good sleep hygiene, and know if it's not working for you, we, we're, gonna, we're developing some other protocols. There's many variations to sleep problems, but this is a great success story, and we congratulate you, and I'm so happy that to have helped a good friend so much.